1501, as the first book rolled off the press on Fleet Street, no one could have imagined that within 500 years, any five-year-old in Britain would have access to more printing power than the whole industry of the 16th century. Now, in our age of digital communication, typography and print technology play a vital role in how we express our ideas, our products and ourselves. Tucked away behind the bustle of Fleet Street and Farringdon, the past and future of this crucially important industry is safeguarded and nurtured within the wall of one fascinating institution. The St Bride Foundation is the last remaining link to the printing past of Fleet Street. It is also an indispensable resource for designers building the future of communication. For 110 years, it has housed an unparalleled collection of books, artefacts, equipment and expertise concerning the techniques and processes of printing and typography. The St Bride Library contains over 50,000 volumes, 35,000 periodicals, as well as 250 special collections of everything from Egyptian papyri from 1250 BC to broadsides, chapbooks, type foundry equipment, printing presses and other ephemera, and covering subjects such as bookmaking and binding, papermaking, calligraphy, typography, illustration, printing, engraving and publishing. It is unique and of international importance and repute. Staffed by experts, it provides an unequalled service to designers, students, many and varied crafts practitioners, family, social, cultural and industrial historians, plus many others, including the curious passerby. Originally housing London's first printing school, the Foundation continues to be at the forefront of an important outreach programme, introducing the relevance, history and practical techniques of printing and typography to primary, secondary and graduate level students. This involves visiting local schools to give demonstrations, as well as welcoming groups into the library, exhibition and workshop spaces. The foundation which supports the library continues to serve and entertain the surrounding community, providing exhibitions, lectures and five community rooms which play host to everything from business meetings to yoga to weddings. The much-loved theatre space was originally the city's first public swimming pool which was boarded over in the winter months and hosted table tennis, cricket and other sporting events. It now is host to countless professional and amateur theatre groups, 